Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through exactly what I would do if I had to restart my career in cybersecurity from scratch. I want to thank Coursera for sponsoring today's video. I was so excited when they reached out to me because Coursera was actually the place where I first started my learning journey in cybersecurity. The first ever professional certificate that I took was from Coursera, and I'll mention it later on in this video as well. But all the recommendations that you'll hear throughout this video are genuine recommendations and things that I would actually take if I had to restart my career in cybersecurity. With that being said, Coursera is offering a huge promotion right now for the month of March where they're giving you $100 off Coursera Plus. Usually it's priced at $399 for 12 months, but right now with $100 off, it'll only be $299 for 12 months. For those of you who don't know what Coursera Plus is, it's a subscription that gives you unlimited access to over 7,000 learning programs within Coursera that includes professional certificates like uh, the ones I'll mention in this video from companies like Meta, Google, Microsoft, and a bunch more. So if you want to take advantage of this offer and save $100 on Coursera Plus, I'll leave a link in the description below that'll take you directly to this offer. Make sure you take advantage of this offer because it'll only last until April 1st of this year. With that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the reasons as to why if I had to restart my career in cybersecurity, why I would start with professional certificates from Coursera. So the main reasons as to why I would start off with Coursera professional certificates is first off, because if I had zero background and zero knowledge in IT or cybersecurity, Coursera professional certificates are completely beginner friendly. You don't need to have any sort of background in technology or anything to start taking these professional certificates. Another reason for that is because of the Coursera pricing structure. It's really affordable and a lot of times these professional certificates from other vendors can be pretty expensive. Um, so starting off your career in cybersecurity, you don't have to start off with too much money up front. Um, you can really start off with an affordable pricing structure offered by Coursera. Another reason is because these courses are hosted on Coursera and they're completely online, so they're really flexible. I know a lot of you guys are working part-time or full-time jobs or in university, and you have to really kind of find different times to really fit your study time. And Coursera is able to do that because of the flexible structure of the professional certificates and the learning programs. And last but not least, my learning style when it comes to certificates has to include a lot of stimulation and hands-on sort of experience. And Coursera offers that through videos, quizzes, readings, and things of that nature. A lot of it isn't really straightforward, um, so it's really easy to be engaged, um, and they really do a great job at that. So highly recommend starting off with Coursera professional certificates. And with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the three professional certificates that I would actually start off if I had to restart my career from scratch. So the first professional certificate that I would recommend and start off at for myself if I had to restart is going to be the first one that I actually ever earned myself, which is going to be the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. And the reason why I recommend this professional certificate is because if you want to start off your career in cybersecurity, it's going to be so important for you to have a good foundation in IT and networking fundamentals. So this professional certificate will take you about six months to complete if you study for about 10 hours per week. And it's completely beginner friendly, which is one of the main reasons why I would start off with this certificate. And also on top of that, it's comprised of five different courses that go over five different aspects of IT and networking. So to start off, uh, the first course is going to be the technical support fundamentals. Um, next, you have the computer networking, which is really important to understand exactly how computers communicate with each other. And then also uh, the third on the list uh, is going to be the operating systems, understanding how software works with computers. Um, and then next you have the system administration and also the IT infrastructure services, which is also going to be huge when it comes to cybersecurity, especially that sysadmin part. And then last but not least, you get a taste of cybersecurity as well, which is the IT security aspect of the course. So from taking this certificate, you'll learn a bunch of different IT skills that include things like networking, customer service. You'll also learn some command line skills using Linux, uh, system administration, and things of that nature that are a good foundation for you to step into learning cybersecurity. So that's going to be the first certificate that I would start off with to get the IT fundamentals and networking fundamentals. But next on the list is going to be the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate that's also offered on Coursera. This certificate is also beginner friendly and will take you about six months to complete if you study for about seven hours per week. It's comprised of eight different courses and let's go ahead and go over that right now. So the certificate starts off with the foundations of cybersecurity. Next, you go into managing security risks. 
And then also you go into networks and network security. So expanding on what you've already learned from the Google IT support professional certificate. And you also learn some different tools and languages like Linux and SQL. Uh, SQL is pretty much used to query different databases and getting in, uh, getting data from them. Uh, Linux is like a sort of a, an operating system that's used uh, within cybersecurity as well. Um, next, we have assets, threats, and vulnerabilities, where you'll learn how those work within cybersecurity. You also have detection and response, so incident response. Those are some huge roles within cybersecurity, and that's kind of the, the essence of cybersecurity, really. Um, next up, you'll have tasks or automating tasks with Python. Um, that's going to be huge. A lot of the, uh, the different tasks that you need to do can be automated within uh, using Python. So uh, that's going to be one of the, I'd say, one of the most popular languages to learn, especially when you get into cybersecurity. So you can automate certain tasks uh, and redundant things. So um, last but not least, you have the put it to work prepare for cybersecurity job course. And that's gonna give you some interview prep uh, when getting ready to actually apply for full-time jobs within cybersecurity. So this certificate is gonna give you the foundations of cybersecurity and give you a taste of a bunch of different roles and tools and languages that you'll need to learn within cybersecurity. So overall, this is gonna give you the foundations and understanding of cybersecurity. One of the main reasons why I recommend getting this certificate is because it prepares you for the Security Plus exam, which is one of the most sought after entry level cybersecurity certifications on the market that employers are looking for. The Security Plus is gonna dive a little bit deeper when it comes to different cyber attacks, uh, terminology, acronyms, things of that sort. So it's a great segue from this certificate moving on to the Security Plus, uh, which is gonna be a great way for you to start breaking into the cybersecurity industry and start looking for entry-level jobs. This certificate is also relatively new, but it's been so popular because of how much value it brings to whoever takes it. So highly recommend this certificate, especially after taking the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. But with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the third on the list. So the third professional certificate that I would take if I had to restart my career in cybersecurity is going to be the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificates. And you might be wondering as to why I'm recommending another cybersecurity certificates if I just mentioned one before. But the reason why I recommend this one specifically is because it starts to give you a taste of cloud computing and cloud security. Now there's gonna be two main reasons as to why I recommend taking these professional certificates on top of the other one. The first reason is because you're gonna get a good understanding of how to navigate using the Microsoft operating system and sort of how the system administration works within Microsoft. Uh, the reason for that is because a lot of employers uh, use Microsoft as their main operating system and understanding how it works and how to navigate it is going to be an important skill to have. Now, the second main reason is because this professional certificate is going to give you a taste of cloud computing when it comes to Microsoft Azure, which is also one of the most popular cloud computing platforms that are used by a bunch of different government organizations and also private companies as well. So this certificate is it's also completely beginner friendly and will take you about six months to complete if you study for about 10 hours per week. And let's go ahead and go over the courses that are included within this professional certificate. So this certificate is comprised of nine different courses. Uh, the first one is going to be the introduction to computers and operating systems and security. The second one is gonna be intro to networking and cloud computing, which is one of the most important pieces I think of this certificate. You'll also go over cybersecurity threat vectors and mitigation. So it's gonna also expand on what you've learned from the uh, Coursera uh, Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. And then next you have identity and access solutions using Azure Active Directory. Uh, that's also gonna be important on how to use Azure and AD and identity and access management and things of that sort. So that's another skill that you'll learn from taking this certificate as well. You'll also learn how to use and navigate Microsoft Defender, which is the main uh, sort of uh, software that they use when it comes to uh, the Microsoft operating system, uh, when it comes to security. You'll also learn different cybersecurity tools and technologies that are used within Microsoft as well. You'll also go over cybersecurity management and compliance, which is also another um, sort of aspect within cybersecurity that wasn't touched on with the prior uh, certificate that I recommended. And then last but not least, you have the Capstone Project, which is also really interesting. And then lastly, the Microsoft SC900 exam uh, preparation and practice, which is gonna be an entry-level uh, 
cloud computing certification uh, for uh, Microsoft Azure. So now the reason why I'm recommending these two cybersecurity certificates, uh, the Google one and also the Microsoft one is because the Google one prepares you for the security plus exam, which is an excellent entry level, a little bit more advanced uh, level cybersecurity certification. And then also this Microsoft one prepares you for the Microsoft SC900 exam, which is also a cloud computing uh, certification. So. It gives you that cybersecurity certification and also prepares you for that cloud certification, which is two highly recommended skills that I would have if I had to restart my career in cybersecurity. So overall, these three professional certificates are going to give you a foundational understanding of IT, of networking, of cybersecurity, um, and also of cloud computing. And that's going to give you a solid foundation of starting to prepare for getting you those higher level, those more advanced level uh, certifications, but also preparing you to have the skills necessary in order to start applying for entry level cybersecurity full time jobs. Now, like I said before, if you want to take advantage of the $100 off Coursera Plus offer that will only last until April 1st, I'll leave a link in the description below and it'll actually give you access to all of these professional certificates that I mentioned in this video on top of of all the other ones within the Coursera catalog. I'll also leave links to all the professional certificates that I mentioned within this video in the description below as well. So make sure to check that out. But with that being said though guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.